Welcome to this special festive celebration. At King Edward VI College, we always think that community is very important. But in this year of unprecedented challenge that was presented to us by the global pandemic, we've had to come together as a community in many different ways. Some very unexpected, some really challenging and difficult, and some that have brought us great joy. That's the thing about the pandemic. It's made us think about the way we work and live and learn together in different ways. Of course, we look forward to the time when we can all be together again, face to face, in more normal ways. But now is a time for us to pause as we finish this autumn term right before Christmas, when we can really think about how much our community means to us. That's why this Christmas musical celebration is so important. Our musicians have done an outstanding job thinking of ways to overcome the constraints that they've been posed upon them by the pandemic. And I'd like to pay tribute to Tom Pankhurst and his wonderful musicians who've overcome these challenges in amazing ways. I hope you enjoy the music tonight and I wish you all a very safe, peaceful, Merry Christmas. The 2020 edition of our traditional Nine Lessons and Carols in St Mary's at Old Swinford is shorter than normal and requires rather more imagination. Along with some readings, we've recorded a virtual version of Silent Night and then there are two congregational, or perhaps karaoke, carols for you to sing along with at home. To help you get in the right mood, here is our organist Richard Hall playing a short voluntary while you take your seat. We hope our short celebration will help you salvage some Christmas spirit at this difficult time. Welcome to St Mary's. I'm Reverend John. At this time we'd normally be preparing to welcome all of you for the Christmas carol service. We're sorry that we won't be seeing you in person. We get such joy from meeting you and hearing you sing and play. The joy of Christmas though breaks every barrier and will unite us virtually even through these screens as we prepare to celebrate Jesus' birth. Let us pray for the world to which he comes in love and peace. For a world weary of uncertainty and fear, but ready to share in the work of renewal and healing, may the Christ child come. To young people whose energy and promise builds new worlds. May the Christ child come. To families physically separated from one another but united in hope and expectation. May the Christ child come. To 
for all places of learning, but especially to your place, King Ed's Sixth Form College, to its teachers, staff and students. May the Christ child come. To each human heart where God lives in love, the Christ child comes and makes his home. St. Mark 1, verses 2 to 8. The herald, John the Baptist, announcing the coming of Christ. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptise in the wilderness, and preached the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptised of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed in camel's hair, and with a girdle of skin around his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preaching, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latches of few shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptised you with water, but he shall baptise you with the Holy Ghost. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
Same Matthew 2, verses 1 to 12. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some royal astrologers from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose in the east, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star had first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After the interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Thanks be to God.
joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you. And Merry Christmas from all of us here at St. Mary.